These guys are called giant red-headed centipedes. And I've lived here in Texas for about 65 years, and I've never actually seen one of these. This one started showing up in the underground fox den, and I'll just show you a fox here, just give you a little size comparison to where you can see why they're called giant red-headed centipedes, because they're actually pretty darn big. Uh, this one, I'm just estimating, they're about six inches long. They say they can get up to eight inches long or perhaps even bigger. Uh, but they're an interesting creepy crawly thing in that they come out mainly during the daytime, supposedly, and they like to be underground. There's just another fox uh, kind of size shot uh, that's all in the same area. So you can kind of compare it to the size of the fox. And it's interesting to watch their legs as they move. They have apparently up between 21 and 23 pairs of legs. So it's not really, you know, as the name might suggest, a lot more than that. But it's 21 to 23 pairs. And the two little stinger-looking tails on the back end are apparently just grasping. Uh, they're kind of claws, basically. But these guys do have a stingy bite that sounds like it's about like a scorpion sting and they do it by using their front set of legs as either what you might think of as fangs or stingers either one and apparently also all of their additional feet all other 22 pairs can to some extent also inject uh, venom like a, a stinger basically apparently they're preyed upon by mammals and this being the only place we've seen them in this den, we've never seen that happen, but it seems like it would be a pretty highly unpleasant experience to have one of these in your mouth.